This is going to be a relatively mature video because I'm going to be throwing curse words out. That way, Kappa doesn't hurt me. Abby? Adam? Andrew? You three need to get off here. Because if I hear from your mother, you're not going to like when the next time that you see Uncle Steven. Because he is going to make sure that you are either grounded or punished to the fullest extent of your parents' law. What's up everybody, Stevdez here. This is all over YouTube, and I thought I'd just make my own comment about it. I'm not going to be one to make a comment on something I don't fully understand. And I've seen several different YouTubers go on it, links in the description, and the link to the petition is also in the description, as well as the FTC site, so that you yourself can comment about this and tell them that this is wrong. So, YouTube is a free site. You can go on it, just fine. They have some guidelines for you to follow and make sure that your content is working to what you want. However, those guidelines also protect children in the sense that you can't have a YouTube channel unless you're 13 years old. Here's the problem. There are tons, I'm not even going to count them down, tons of ways that kids can get on YouTube and watch your content. Whether they don't sign in, whether they do sign in and lie about their age, whether they sign in under their parents, whether they sign in under a relative, whether they sign in under a friend who is over 18, the list goes on. The idea of COPPA is to protect kids from targeted ads. And these targeted ads would also count towards YouTube content creators. So let me get this straight. YouTubers like Masako, since I've mentioned him on this channel, who's pushing his own merch line, can't advertise to people over 13 because Dragon Ball's kid-friendly? I'm sorry, but everybody who is a Dragon Ball fan who has seen Battle of Gods, is a fan of the scene where Vegeta absolutely lost his shit, went on a rampage against Beerus, and called him a bastard at the top of his lungs. Does that sound like child-safe content to you? Anything associated with that content should be excluded. But herein lies an issue. It's not. Toys, cartoons, which includes anime, video games, anything a child might like is considered under COPPA. Even bright colors. Real quick, I want to do an experiment. Comment what color this shirt is. I'll go ahead and get closer. Give you, give you a good line of sight there. What color is this shirt? Would you say that it's a bright color. Appealing to children. If I were to get sued by Kappa and it shows that one of the main things is because I have colorful, I have colorful references, colorful, uh, I have a colorful background or color in my video, all to general, all, just color that appeals to children. They could come after me. Personally, I don't think that green or orange, it's one of the two, applies in this situation. Now I could be wrong. This could be a yellow shirt. This could be an orange shirt. This could be a green shirt. Maybe I got it right. But I don't know what color it is. It would be embarrassing if the FTC sued me for the use of bright colors when I'm colorblind. I almost dare them to. I say almost. 
because this is my final thoughts about Kappa. I appreciate what you're doing to kids, you know? Protect them from these ads that are maliciously attacking them. But don't come after the content creators for that. Don't. Kids go to our videos to watch the content creators. To watch Ninja get his, his victory royale. To watch Matt Pat's next game theory and learn something. To watch Arlo play a game. To watch, I, I, I don't know, Madry Bread on his next Pokemon challenge. These channels do have colorful content. Because that is the content brought forward. And that is what they like to talk about. YouTube. Broadcast yourself. That's part of the platform. To punish content creators for this issue. For an issue you had with YouTube slash Google. Which Google needs to address. Under an American law would go against the Eighth Amendment. And if I've got the number wrong, please correct me. Cruel or unusual punishment. It wasn't any of us that got any of the data on our watchers. Now, we can access it, but we're not actively collecting this data. The only thing that we care about is that our subscribers, our viewers, Enjoy our content. Man, woman, child in some cases, Pokemon is a kid's game. Most of the time. Male, female, black, white, that doesn't really matter to me. If you like the channel's content, then good for you. I'm really, really happy that you like the channel's content. And I hope to make more. But... If Kappa sees several of those videos, not only could I go bankrupt, but I could lose everything. I could lose my channel. Because it's a law, as a citizen, I am obligated to follow it. All of my videos have been set not for kids. Because even in the childish games that I've done what ifs for, I do somewhat adult themes. What if Kirby never landed on, on Popstar has a dark twist to it? Because the main character is far more dark. He likes to get things done. Not to mention, Kirby was found on a planet all alone and was taken over by darkness. I'm talking about a child being possessed by evil. If that's not at least a teen rating on the ESRB scale, I don't know what is. Not to mention, I also have games like Gears of War, Resident Evil, slash Dead Rising on my channel. And let's not forget about the Let's Plays that I have, the Tales from the Borderlands, and the uh, Bendy one that I'm just now going to be finishing Chapter 5. That's not child content. So, COPPA needs to be more lenient. If someone is going out of their way to sell kids stuff, fine. If someone is going out of the way to show kids what is actually in this box and give them, give them a bit of experience before they ask their parents to buy this product, that's a good thing. But... Oh, and if, so and if someone's doing a speed build, like a Lego speed build, they're showing what they can do. They're showing their skill. They're showing their art. YouTube was a beautiful thing. And we had enough to worry about as far as YouTube's bots ruining stuff. Now, the FTC's rolling in. Because of something that YouTube and Google did, not content creators like us. Like I said, there's more information in the links in the description, but this is my thought. My intention is not to be a channel for kids. It is to be a channel where we can all share our ideas.
where I can talk to my subscribers, where I can build a community. But I can't build a community if I have to label it the way the FTC says. My content is my content. Game Theory's content is MatPat's content. Markiplier's content is Markiplier's content. And the list goes on. If they feel like their content is targeted as kids, then they're allowed to say that. And if they feel that their content is targeted at adults, or at least people over the age of 13, they're allowed to say that. Just like I'm allowed to say that my content is not for kids. It's for anyone 13 and up willing to hear a different point of view or to just enjoy a story. Something to listen to while studying for that exam. Something to engage with in the comments. Something to talk to me about if they disagree where I went with in a scenario. I'm a storyteller. That's what I do best. So, if this law gets released, there's no guarantee that I'm going to be sticking around on YouTube. And it's with a heavy heart that I do so. But I will look for other ways out. And I will fight this. Because it's not right. That being said, when it is made into law, as a good citizen, I will follow this law because I'm a law-abiding citizen. And what I believe this channel is for is for people 13 and up who want to hear a good story about a franchise they loved since they were a kid. So, check out the links in the description below. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be making another one about another topic that what if YouTubers should acknowledge about one another. Kind of like from that little fight, but that fight's over. I'm glad both sides got to an agreement. So check those out. And if you want to check out some of my content on the channel, feel free to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Also, Dragon Ball Days will, uh, will continue Sunday and back to regular schedule Wednesday.